What is Sjögren syndrome? Sjögren syndrome is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects the body's moisture-producing glands. It most commonly affects the salivary and tear glands, but it can also affect other glands in the body such as the sweat glands, digestive glands, and reproductive glands. What are the symptoms? The main symptoms of Sjögren syndrome are dryness in the mouth and eyes, but it can also cause other symptoms such as dryness in the nose, throat, and skin, fatigue, joint pain and swelling, digestive problems such as nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain, difficulty speaking or swallowing, difficulty wearing contact lenses, vaginal dryness and discomfort during sexual activity, respiratory problems such as a dry or persistent cough. How we can diagnose it? Diagnosing Sjögren syndrome can be challenging because the symptoms can be similar to those of other conditions and because the symptoms can vary widely from person to person. If your doctor thinks you might have Sjögren syndrome, they will likely start by asking about your medical history and performing a physical examination. They may also recommend one or more of the following tests, like blood tests. These tests can help detect inflammation and autoimmune activity in the body. Salivary gland function tests. These tests measure the amount of saliva produced by your salivary glands. Eye examination. An eye doctor, ophthalmologist, can examine your eyes for dryness and other signs of Sjögren syndrome. Biopsy. A small sample of tissue may be taken from your salivary gland or other affected area and examined under a microscope to look for signs of Sjögren syndrome. Other tests. Depending on your symptoms and other factors, your doctor may recommend additional tests such as X-rays, ultrasound, or CT scans to help diagnose Sjögren syndrome. So what's the treatment for it? Unfortunately, there is no cure for Sjögren syndrome, but treatment can help manage the symptoms and prevent complications. The specific treatment plan will depend on the individual and the severity of their symptoms. Like different medications are used. Medications that increase saliva and tear production can help alleviate dryness in the mouth and eyes. These include pilocarpine and civimiline. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen or naproxen, can help reduce inflammation and pain. Corticosteroids, such as prednisone, can also be used to reduce inflammation, but they can have side effects and are usually used only for a short time. Immunosuppressants, such as methotrexate or cyclophosphamide, can be used to suppress the immune system and reduce autoimmune activity in the body. These medications can have serious side effects and are usually reserved for more severe cases. Other treatments. Artificial tears and saliva substitutes can help alleviate dryness in the eyes and mouth. Staying well hydrated by drinking plenty of water and avoiding drinks that can exacerbate dryness, such as alcohol and caffeine, can also help. Good oral hygiene, such as brushing and flossing regularly and using a humidifier, can help prevent dental problems associated with dry mouth. Protecting the eyes from wind and dry environments, such as using goggles or sunglasses, can help prevent dryness and irritation in the eyes. In some cases, treatment may also involve addressing any complications of Sjögren syndrome, such as kidney problems or respiratory problems. It's important to work closely with your healthcare team to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. With proper treatment, it is possible to manage the symptoms of Sjögren syndrome and maintain a good quality of life. Complications Sjögren syndrome can lead to a number of complications, depending on the organs and systems affected by the disease. Some common complications include Dental problems, dry mouth can lead to an increased risk of tooth decay and gum disease. Eye problems, dry eyes can lead to corneal damage and vision problems. Respiratory problems, Sjögren syndrome can cause inflammation in the respiratory tract, leading to a dry or persistent cough and other respiratory problems. Kidney problems, Sjögren syndrome can cause inflammation in the kidneys, leading to kidney damage or failure. Nerve damage, Sjögren syndrome can cause nerve damage, leading to problems with muscle control and sensation. Lymphoma, Sjögren syndrome can increase the risk of developing lymphoma, a type of blood cancer. The best protocol for Sjögren syndrome. 
The best protocol for managing Sjögren's syndrome will depend on the individual and the severity of their symptoms. Here are some general recommendations for managing Sjögren's syndrome. Take medications as prescribed. Medications such as pilocarpine, civimoline, and NSAIDs can help increase saliva and tear production and reduce inflammation and pain. It's important to take these medications as prescribed and to follow up with your healthcare provider regularly to adjust the dosage as needed. Use artificial tears and saliva substitutes, these products can help alleviate dryness in the eyes and mouth. Stay well hydrated, drinking plenty of water and avoiding drinks that can exacerbate dryness, such as alcohol and caffeine, can help keep your body hydrated and reduce dryness. Practice good oral hygiene, brushing and flossing regularly and using a humidifier can help prevent dental problems associated with dry mouth. Protect your eyes, wearing goggles or sunglasses when outside and using a humidifier can help prevent dryness and irritation in the eyes. Seek medical attention for any concerning symptoms, if you experience any new or worsening symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention as soon as possible.